Oh, and uh, a couple people asked me to do this tutorial. It's Game Maker RTS, Game Maker 8 Pro. Don't have Game Maker 8 Pro? You should really get it. I have a video on how to get it if you need it, and etc. Uh, etc. Et and uh, this video is gonna include some really important stuff, so I might as well get started. So I already have two sprites to save some time. Now this is your cursor, and you just go ahead and draw it real quick. Uh, do whatever you want. I did a quick one, shaded it up a little bit, and what's very important is where you're going to click is where the origin has to be. So mine's pointing at something, so I set it to zero zero. If it's uh, crosshairs, you're gonna want to do it in the middle of the crosshairs. So maybe sixteen, sixteen. Maybe it's centered. Maybe it's off center. Who knows? But just make sure it's on there. Secondly, you need some type of ship. I did a really basic ship. Here it is. I'm. You, d you can also replace this with any worker. If it's a medieval, do it with medieval. Also for the cursor, if you're doing medieval, you can do a sword. Uh, hand, gauntlet, things like that. I'm doing a space themed one this time. A little bit different, want to try it out, etc. And you need to make sure that this is as centered as possible. Okay, that is perfectly centered as it is right now. That's cool. Then what you do is you make sure the origin is centered. That way it can rotate. Now I'm going to show you actually how we're rotating and how we're moving it. The way we're going to do that is we're going to create a uh, in the create event we're going to do a couple things first get onto extra tab pull in the cursor and you set it to sprite the cursor to sprite that and don't show the cursor this is only available in pro then go to control and then code and we're going to be coding this but I'm going to be telling you as I write it and uh, in the create event we're going to say des x equals self dot x des y equals self dot y um, moving equals zero and uh, I think that's it and then we add the event mouse global mouse global left pressed and we say um, moving equals one so now our moving is equal to one, um, and this is really important. Image underscore angle equals point underscore direction. Then we put parentheses and in parentheses we put it in this order. Self dot x comma self dot y comma uh, what else? Oh right, uh, mouse underscore x comma mouse underscore y and now we have the most important part of our code right here and it says des x equals mouse underscore x and des y equals mouse underscore y and uh, des x and des y are where we're going to be moving which we're going to put in our last event the step event which we put in some code for and we say if moving is equal to one then uh, we put some brackets close the brackets and in here we say mp underscore potential underscore step and that's why we put in the step event it's going to step towards it and we're going to say des x comma that's why and this is in the parentheses by the way that's why four then true now true is to check for solid objects if there's solid object in a way it'll try to move around it and it's kind of cool built into game maker it works pretty well all right so I think that's it I don't think I missed anything so we might as well try it out let's go into room I uh, took the liberty of setting the room to black putting a worker in the middle and uh, Set in the background to black. Uh, global game settings. Um, where in errors, treat uninitialized variables as zero. Check that off. You always want to check that off. And we go ahead and run it. And this will turn into a series, by the way, because there's just too much for one video. And we have here. Oh, I forgot to mention one tiny thing. 
the sprite of the worker has to be angled to the right. So, make it however you want, like I made it facing down. But now I need to transform it, rotate it. I'm going to rotate it 270 degrees in my case to point that way, make sure it's still centered. It is. We're all set. And I'll show you the difference that that actually makes. Um, it'll be easier when I do this. Uh, goal game settings. Uh, it's good to have you let allow the player to resize the game window. That's always cool. And uh, keep aspect ratio. That means whatever size you do it, it'll just keep the aspect ratio. So that's pretty cool. Uh, so I'm going to max size this. And you can see it's actually clicking towards there. You can see that it angles the object and uh, it goes towards my mouse when I click but when I'm not clicking it doesn't really do anything I can hold down the mouse and it doesn't do anything but if I rapidly click I can get it to like turn on a dime or something and the graphics don't look that great because it's 32 by 32 but honestly there's going to be so many on the screen it doesn't really matter eventually anyway this is just a basic one so that's how we're going to do it and uh, next video now that we have the movement down, uh, we're gonna have uh, we're gonna do how to have multiple uh, characters on the screen and how to choose between them, um, etc., etc. And we're gonna have it so we can have multiple, th yeah. Uh, so that way I can click on this guy and then have a move, or click on another guy and have that guy move. And yes, I know I'm still moving the spaceship, or you can have a totally different character. And then we're going to, uh, the episode after that, we're going to take this worker character, and we're going to duplicate it into another, uh, no, we're going to do resources, and then after that we're going to duplicate the worker into a soldier, and then we're going to make the fighting thing. Now we have all aspects that we can have, so we make enemies, and then that's the entire core of it. So we're going to start duplicating things and turning the soldier into, um, an extra fighter, or different more powerful fighter and uh, turn an enemy into a more powerful enemy and a more powerful enemy or a weaker enemy a different kind of enemy and just build upon the game so uh, that's what's coming up thanks for watching please rate and please comment